What is going on, guys? Happy Tuesday, October 7th. Um, push past week five already. It's crazy. We're damn near at the half point of the season already. Um, you know, everything's going smooth so far. Activity still not so good. Um, but other than that, you know, no complaints really. Scoring's good. Um, you know, the ups and downs of these teams on some of these teams, guys, is pretty crazy. I mean, you know, you look at I me and Ashley pretty much flip flop in spots in terms of points scored from week four to week five. Um, you know, I mean, you're, you're seeing teams go through these ups and downs with the bye week and injuries happening, um, really starting to take a toll. I mean, I think injuries have played more of a part this year than they ever have in terms of just big names getting injured. And there are some big names that aren't living up to expectations, some big names that haven't even played. Um, but other than that, I mean, everything's been pretty good, guys. You know, we got, uh, you know, we got the league just going right along smooth. Everything seems to be working all right. Like I said, the activity's pretty weak, but, you know, it's kind of expected after about the uh, the fourth week or so. Uh, everybody just starts to kind of get in their little rhythm. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, everybody's setting rosters. So, I mean, everybody's on the page. They're just not commenting on polls and, and hopping on the matchups and, and putting stuff. And I understand. I mean, you guys... It's your 100 bucks. Like, do what you want with it. But I would prefer if everybody was more active. Uh, don't get me wrong. So, you know, let's just try and everybody, you know, put a little more effort into it. Literally anybody's race at this point. Um, you know, Brock got his first win. So, you know, hell froze over. He got his first W. Um, had a couple upsets this week as well. So, um, you know, Aaron, thank you for getting the pickums out today. I mean, that's a great job on Tuesday. Um, you know, final standings and everything. So I believe me and Jared are uh, at the top of the charts with the pickums. I think we're 13 out of, where is it, 20? 15 out of 20, maybe? Um, so anyway, through whatever, five weeks, that's pretty good. So, uh, you know, make sure you guys are hopping on. Um, you know, Aaron, like I said, great job for doing that. So I appreciate everybody's interest and in everything. Just, you know, a little bit more effort would be pretty awesome. So let's hop into the week five scoreboard, uh, take a look at the matchups from that week. Uh, you know, we'll start off with me. Uh, I improved to two and three, dropped Ashley to two and three, tied in the division right now. Uh, I beat her ninety-eight point nine to fifty-eight point six. I was led by none other than Jay Cutler with twenty-one and a half. Um, Steven Goskowski had twenty-one on Monday night, so I ain't gonna complain about that. Other than those two, and my defense was sixteen, I was subpar at best. So uh, yeah, my team's struggling hard, but. I'm still going to, like I said, I'm still going to put my best lineup out there. Still going to try and trade. Uh, you know, it's a long season. You know, we're halfway there. Like I said, I started 0-5 when I won the championship. Thank you, Jared. Uh, but, you know, other than that, Matt Stafford was her leading scorer, and he had 11.6. So, you know, it was a tough go for Ashley. She had Megatron, uh, was limited to start the day, didn't make it through, had only one catch for seven yards. So, tough, tough day for Ashley. But, I mean, looking at her team, uh, you know, some of the depth she has, I think she has a good roster. A lot of people over us or underestimate her, but, uh, you know, she's got talent. So it's, you know, she's definitely going to turn it around. Uh, other matchup we had was uh, Aaron squeaking out a victory over Jobby, 103.4 to 94.8, dropping Jobby to 1-4. and four. Jobby, you know, always one of those playoff teams that, you know, always gets in, always has a good team. And right now he's struggling to score points. I mean, just some of those players aren't producing. Um, obviously, when you go up against Demarius Thomas, who had 34 and a half, to, you know, Peyton Manning had 31, but when you have a receiver get 31 like that, or 34, you ain't really going to get a victory too often. So uh, Aaron improves the 3-2. and two. I believe he's number two in our division, uh, right behind Jared. So uh, those two leading the top of the division so far, almost at the halfway point. Uh, Jobby, like I said, falls to 1-4, so he's struggling right now as well. Uh, same record as Brock, which is pretty crazy. Uh, when you consider Brock started out 0-4, right? Yeah, 0-4, so... Hey, shut up! God damn. Uh, you know, going on to the next matchup, we had Jeff improving to five and zero. I mean, Jeff's team is just rolling right now. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, Jeff would have lost to pretty much half the league had he played. So some of the matchups are lucky for him, but I mean, his team is dirty. Best team in the league by far, hands down. I'm not taking anything away from Jeff. Um, you know, he's scoring the points right when he needs them, and, and I mean, he's leading his division, probably will be number one seed in his division. Um, he won 94 to 78.1, uh, led by Phillip Rivers, who's had fantastic theories, number two receiver, or one, number two quarterback in fantasy this year so far. Um, you know, hadn't had his bye, but I mean, he's rolling right along. Uh, Nico is led by none other than Andrew Luck at 19.7. Um, Nico drops to two and three as well. Uh, but he's got a good team. I know he's been fishing around McCoy a little bit, trying to see what he can get. But 
Uh, you know, a lot of these teams, the guys are missing like one or two pieces. So, you know, don't get discouraged. Don't quit. You know, keep keep at it. Um, but Jeff, like I said, improved to 5-0. and monster, monster season for Jeff this year. Um, you know, finally going to get over the hump. Uh, he's, he's always been right there, you know, the, the last two years. But this year, stud. Um, other uh, matchup we had was... Uh, Mike, or I'm sorry, Mike and uh, Jared. Jared squeaking out the victory, 110.6 to Mike's 88.3. Mike had a huge game from Arian Foster with 29.2. DeMarco Murray, another stud game. Those two running backs, if they can stay healthy, are going to literally carry Mike into the playoffs. Even right now, he's at 2-3. and three. Uh, You know, Colin Kaepernick, he's good. He has his games. Um, you know, once again, had like 13.8. So Mike's right on the cusp with him. Um, but Mike could use some receiver help, maybe, you know, a tight end. Um, obviously, when you start Bengals D and they can be negative eight, it's going to be struggle bus. But Jared, I mean, literally killed it. He had, you know, Eddie Lacy 25, Marshawn Lynch 17.7, Dez had 14. Um, so, I mean, Jared's got the talent on his team. You know, he's about a quarterback away from being really good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Jared's team is nasty. He will probably finish one or two in our division, so it's really like a fight for another team to try and sneak in. Um, Mike, I think, though, Mike's team is very good. Um, he, his team 